Hello, this section is about graphing of a function. So first off, let's find a little bit about domain. Domain and range. First off, domain is the independent variable or the x, and the range is the dependent variable or the y. And basically we need to find the smallest x value. Well, as you read left to right, you can see that this is at negative one, and it is a solid dot meaning that indicates that negative one is part of the answer. And it goes up here and it goes all the way to four for your x. However, that open circle there means it is not part of the solution. It can be 3.99999, but not four. So therefore, my domain will be from negative one to four. And as you can see right there, it shows it right there in the red. And it can equal negative one, but it cannot equal four. And domain is x, so I'm gonna write it like the following, okay? or this would be the notation you'll see a lot more in college. The bracket simply means it can equal negative one, and the parentheses means it gets as close to four as possible but doesn't equal it. We'd like to see you start writing things in this particular format here because that's the way you're going to start to see it, especially in college algebra, all right? Bracket means it equals, parentheses means it goes to as close as it can but not. So, what about the range? Well, let's look at it. The range goes, that's the smallest y value, which is negative five, and goes all the way up. And does it include four here? Yes, it does touch the line at four. So therefore, it means it equals both of them, and range is y. So will this one be parentheses or brackets? Well, they both equal, so they will be brackets. That will be the range. So if I wanted to find f of negative one or f of two, well, simply f of negative one is simply what? Negative five, because that's the point when x is negative one, y is negative five, and then f of two, when f is two, is just what? Four, all right?